Okay guys, so uh, the next is of course bigger legs. You've seen bigger chest, bigger back. The next one of course is the legs. So um, legs is again uh, after the back is one of the most complex uh, things to train and uh, most people only know a, a few bit of how uh, to train and few people are uh, misleaded by uh, thinking of you know you need a lot of different exercises a lot of different uh, angles and variations uh, to grow them um, not necessarily important of course angles variations and uh, machines and everything play a role but that comes later and uh, if you are a pro bodybuilder that will definitely be a huge part of your training but the basics have to beat you uh, diet in before you move on to those so to start off again as i uh, uh, I'll, I'll just give you a brief of uh, when i say bigger legs uh, what do those uh, muscles comprise of so we have the quads we have the thigh muscles your chunk those quad triceps four uh, muscles cross sectioning each other and we have a huge quadricep thigh muscle here we have the tibia of course this is the anterior or the front of the body this is the back of the body so the tibia is the opposite of the calf so when you say calf raises you are um, extending the ankle you're saying tibia raises, you're flexing the ankle. Extension flexion. From the posterior, we have glutes or your hip muscles. The striations run uh, horizontally. We have hamstrings, which of course tie to the, to the glutes and uh, play a huge role in uh, extension of the hips. Then we have calves. Oh, this is knee extension. Um, I'm sorry, ankle extension. You extend. Uh, the hip or you bring it back you're working your glute bring it front you're working your hip flexor or QL or upper quads you extend your knee out you're working your quads uh, leg extension that works the quads or uh, if you do a squat you go down and you extend your leg you flex your knee and that works the back side of the quads that is the hamstring this one. Similarly, the ankle, as I said, you flex the ankle, you're working the tibia, extend the ankle, you're working behind, that is, calf. This is the basic. Um, now, what you have to uh, understand and go to just to start off the, uh, the training of the, of the legs, um, how to initiate and how to understand how we start. Always remember. With the chest, with the back, with, the, with with any muscle, you have heavy weight, you have compound movements, you have fundamental movements. Heavy compound fundamental. Okay, stop starting off with sets of 15, sets of 20. Those are good for the burn, good for building up lactic acid in the muscles. But if you really want thick, dense muscle, you have to you have to do you have to you know kind of put that that tension on that muscle for the deep tissue damage that occurs. So we have the fundamental movements, the squat, lunge or any unilateral single leg movement. We have the hinge, of course, hamstring. We're covering the quads. Squat is the king, okay, just like the deadlift. They both come in the same category of working out, working your entire body. So with the squat, you are not just working your quads, it is primarily a more uh, knee extension but you are also working your hamstrings and your glutes. So but we still give probably a 60-40 you know, on the quads. So quads, we have, we have the unilateral for the balance or uh, single leg, uh, you know if you have any weakness in the single leg, in either of the legs. Then we have hinge takes care of your posterior chain, your glutes, your hamstrings, uh, your lower back as well. So, heavy weight, compound movement, fundamental movement. Th these three work multiple uh, muscles together. So, as I, as I mentioned, quad, squats is not just working your quads, it's working your glutes, it's working your hamstring. It's also working your upper back uh, sometimes, you know, it works, works your core. 
lunge, not just working your, your quads, working your glutes, your hamstring. If you've performed a set of lunges, walking lunges for let's say uh, for 200 or 300 reps at one go or starting off with 100 reps, you've, you're gonna feel a huge burn in your glutes as well with the, along with the quads. Hinge, primarily it's a posterior chain but it hammers the glutes, hammers the hamstrings together and, hammer, and of course puts a lot of pressure on the lower back uh, to get to be stable in that hinge position. Then we add on to add the uh, icing on the cake, which is your isolation. Sorry, it's not visible, but isolation movements or there you have higher reps, there you have multiple variations, there you have machines, there you have uh, variations that address the weaknesses. You have likes of hip thrusts, likes of hamstring curls, likes of leg extensions, um, what not, likes of uh, calf raises. So the only thing you need to remember, use any implement, any machine, any equipment, any exercise. You have to cover extension and flexion of hip, knee, ankle. Very simple. As I explained in this uh, particular uh, image, extension of the hip is working the glute or the hip, flexion of the hip is working the upper quads or the QL, extension of the knee works the quads, flexion of the knee works the hamstring, extension of the ankle works the, works the calves, extension of the ankle works the tibia. You have the entire leg workout covered. So a sample leg workout should look like this. I start off with the king for a squat variation, let's say 5 sets of 5. Then I do maybe a unilateral variation or a, or a posterior chain variation. Uh, usually if you are doing a back squat it puts a lot of demand on your posterior chain as well because you are loading it on your back. So you kind of back off and you do a unilateral. or lunge. Maybe you do 3 sets of uh, 10 to 12 here and the third one you do the hinge, hinge variation. Maybe 3 sets of 8 to 10 max. This is your chunk of the back of your leg workout. Icing on the cake. Whatever your weakness is or whatever you want to build more, let's say glutes which usually is a weakness, uh, especially in, uh, in people who sit a lot. So we put hip thrusters, hip thrusts. Two sets of uh, multiple reps. For uh, set rep scheme, you can watch the other video that I have of the workout variety that I'm gonna link below. So if you're understand, understanding, I'm using fundamental movements and, uh, and the entire workout is, is, is built over that. So that is your base. The rest of all the circus tactics that you see uh, online is basically the icing on the cake. So they don't show you, usually power lifters do, the so called vanity based um, muscle builders don't show you what they do to get there. And if they have not done this and they are getting uh, the muscular uh, uh, muscle building from uh, the icing only, then in the real world, if someone adds a, a, a great amount of tension on their body, I don't think they can, take, they can do that because you are developing a huge, huge uh, advantage with deep tissue damage, myofibrillar hypertrophy you have a permanent pump and thickness of that muscle then you have grown tendons, grown ligaments which grow along with that muscle once you recover ok so you have very strong tendons and ligaments holding on uh, to that and having a strong lower body really carries over to the things that you want to do in life in athletics, in, in general activities, in physical activities you know? so having a thick chunk of muscle in, in the lower half of your body burns a lot of calories, it's metabolically demanding. You have to have good solid meal, you know, post-workout. 
and of course beyond that okay you, you cannot sustain uh, heavy leg workouts without good food without wholesome meals so try this out try the this template if you need any help any uh, um, support please reach out i am happy to help